Hi, this is Paul from paulbrotby.com. It's Monday the 19th of October. I wanted to go through the first gold trade of the week uh, and go through some of the things that um, you need to be looking for. And just to remind everybody about the linear support and resistance zones, risk to rewards, all that sort of thing. So this is gold. Uh, overnight, we can see here, <clears throat> we've had you know, the, the uh, if we got the open uh, for the week and we had a couple of... Uh, attempts to move up here that failed so in purple here i have this short term support and resistance zone from overnight so you get up in the european morning uh those traders that like to trade that that early morning uh the always good moves in that couple of hours or hour leading up to that gold pit open here uh, and we get a six star buy the blue linear support and resistance zones are the the support and resistance zones taken from the 60 minute and i've done lots of uh, videos and I will be continuing to do those videos to show you how to produce those linear support and resistance zones but now I'm on the three minute I've also wanted to make sure that I've got these overnight tests uh, and that zone so if I get a six star buy here like this let's zoom in I want to make sure that my risk to reward is good enough uh, to get to the next level but also I'm not going to enter too soon I want to make sure I'm above these rejections from overnight that's a sensible entry strategy here so we get the six star uh, buy at six four, uh, 645 a.m. Uh, European time I'm already up at this sort of time um, we put the stop just below the recent pivot of uh, of just before the signal you can go a little bit left and go below that one it's not making a lot of difference uh, but the main thing is we want an entry through this overnight resistance which it did uh, one of the things that we also look at is that risk reward again uh, stop entry risk reward here is over one to four to the next support and resistance zone so fantastic risk to reward one of the things you also need to be aware of 8 a.m is the european pit open 8 a.m european time okay so at this point here um, you need to be making sure that you are risk free on your trade because there's always not always but there's quite a lot of volatility around those gold pit opens and we want to make sure we're risk free just in case the algos take place and they really just rip down on that gold and take everything out so in this case it didn't it's still moving well uh, it's the three minute time frame we've had the gold pit open we're coming up uh, we're not quite there yet so the european stock market open is at 9 a.m so obviously you can see i'm making this video a little earlier um but again what we need to do then before the stock market open we need to either take profit and at the moment we're knocking on 200 percent profit times risk or we adjust our trailing stop just below probably this only red candle that we've got for now before the um the European stock market open because again that can cause volatility that can um, make the dollar US dollar move up or down uh, which will affect gold in this case so again very very simple setup lots of fresh air make sure you've got a sensible entry strategy sensible risk reward and then managing the trade is reasonably simple you just need to look out for specific data points uh, you know if there's any data that's going to come out and affect uh, the US dollar in particular then obviously gold and then obviously the the next real um, thing for me is the European stock market open so my trading stop here will be locking in uh, something like 60 ticks or something like that so you know it's been a good move already this morning um, you know just gotta uh, be sensible uh, with managing this trade try and give it a little room because it could in fact go to there if that European stock market open is good uh, and it continues to go higher then you know we're in for a runner but right now the 60 ticks locked in on this trade trade of the day really uh, get that one in early and take the rest of the day off so hopefully that helps I'll be doing lots more of these videos